Hi, Ali here with a video on prompt pattern of output customization category called recipe pattern. Let's get started. Many a times when we attempt to approach a new problem outside our comfort zone, we are constrained by limited knowledge where we have limited information to go by and are trying to find all the missing pieces of information required to go from zero to fulfillment. What is our end goal here? We are looking for a sequence of steps to complete the required job. So the formal definition of recipe pattern goes like, the recipe pattern provides constraints to ultimately output a sequence of steps given some partially provided ingredients. Ingredients that must be configured in a sequence of steps to achieve a stated goal. Oh, the textbook definition seems purpose-built to go way above heads of most of us. So let me try and explain with an example. Say you are trying to paint your room. You have your paint and roller with you, but you don't know anything about preparing the walls or the room or how to paint. You do have an end goal in mind though, so you are going to provide the partial information about what you know and what you have and what you want and ask for a sequence of steps, including any missing steps from the large language model. The pattern is especially useful in cases where you have a general idea of what you're about to do, like how a room is painted and what ingredients are required like paint, brushes and rollers, but you are missing the precise ordering of steps to go by, like how to mix the paint for the first coat or the knowledge that there needs to be multiple coats, each requiring a different mixing technique. I just picked a very easy example to explain, but this is useful in a lot of places like planning a trip, installing windows on your new laptop, deploying a website to cloud, performing cleanup and data analysis on a data set, learning how to drive a car for the first time, and let's not forget cooking, where the pattern name comes from. In all such cases, precise ordering of steps is the key to reach the delicious end goal. You can use it to ask recipes, and I mean real cooking recipes given a list of ingredients you have around. And you, or you can ask the large language model to provide you three different cooking recipes for the chicken and spices you have available with you. To use this pattern, you need to use statements like, I would like to achieve X. I know that I need to perform steps A, B, and C. Provide me a complete sequence of steps. Fill any missing steps. Identify any unnecessary steps. The first statement focuses the large language model on the overall goal so that the sequence of steps would be organized and completed with the intention of achieving this end goal. The second statement lets model not only know the steps user is already aware of, but it also lets the model know that the user intends to use these steps in the final sequence. If you have watched the alternative approaches pattern video, you would know there would be multiple ways of accomplishing the same objective. Here the user is nudging the model towards one he is most familiar with. Of course, you can combine this pattern with the alternative approaches pattern to get ideas on more and perhaps better ways of reaching the end goal than the one you have in mind. Either way, statement two constrains the model to use a sequence of steps involving your known steps. The third statement instructs model to provide complete orderly sequence of steps along with the next one to fill any missing steps. This lets the model utilize its vast training set, that is the public internet, to fill in the missing pieces. The last instruction helps identify any steps that can be optimized out, depending on the final recipe the model is providing. I hope you have full information about the recipe pattern with all the ingredients and steps to start using it in your practical life. If you liked the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to be notified of exciting content like this one. Thank you.